Good evening. Now less than 40,000. That is the number of Entergy customers still in the dark tonight, more than 24 hours after severe weather hit the area. The top three parishes with outages in our area are Lafouche and Jefferson with more than 3,000 each, and Tangipahoa with around 1,500. And those outages are starting to wear thin with some. Entergy has made tremendous progress getting around 176,000 of its customers back on the grid, but some feel like they are being forgotten. In one neighborhood in Metairie, people say this is not the first time they've been left in the Dark. They live in the Gilmore neighborhood, which is between Airline Highway, Cleary Avenue, and the Earhart Expressway. WDSU reporter Andy Cunningham is live there tonight. And Andy, the big question is the power back on in that neighborhood tonight? Well, Scott and Adriana, actually just moments before the top of our show, we thought we had power restored to this entire Metairie neighborhood. Then, boom, we heard a loud explosion, then saw sparks flying, and then much of the neighborhood here went in the black once again. So now those folks, many of them now wondering when their light at the end of the tunnel is coming. Nestled between Airline and Earhart, Gilmore is a neighborhood some say is often overlooked. It's frustrating. Scott Tucker said it's especially the case after storms like the Metro saw Monday. It just got real dark all of a sudden. It was a light drizzle and then it just looked like the lights went out. Then we just started hearing snap, 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 snap all around us. Tucker's neighbor, John Chrysler's tree, nearly snapping in two, part of it still on top of power lines behind his home. Generators now powering about a dozen homes here. On another street, a tree is completely blocking the road and down lines, only adding to the problem. The responses have been, yeah, yeah, it's already back on, it's already back on. And you come into the neighborhood and there's still trees that haven't even been touched. Some have even received text messages claiming the power has been restored. And as they have again and again, people in this quiet community are finding ways to take it in stride and hope this time. Their voices are heard. Don't forget about Gilmore. So what we have now, some folks, again, still in the black. Others have lights because that power restored to a portion of this neighborhood. And actually, right now, it looks like uh, some fire crews are coming because, uh, as I said at the top of the show, we saw what appeared to be an explosion. We assume a transformer blowing. Here it is, Jefferson Parish Fire. I probably need to step out of the way here as they make their way to that scene. Like I said, a very active one out here in Metairie. And uh, again, uh, now we're going to have to see how much longer it's going to be before these folks get that power restored, guys. But, geez, a developing story out here as we speak. We'll send it back to you. Uh, first, that was probably a good move to move out the way right there because <laughs> that fire truck wasn't. Uh, so you've asked Entergy for answers um, when it comes to this neighborhood. Have they told you anything? They have, Scott. They said one of the biggest issues about this Gilmore neighborhood is the area where some of the lines are, some of the worst of the damages behind the homes. They can't get those big box trucks to them, so workers actually have to scale those poles physically and do those repairs by hand. Clearly, they're going to have to do that once more. Scott, we'll send it back to you.